This week I have a project inspired by laziness. I like to watch movies in my room. I got them playing on my computer across the room while I'm laying comfortable in bed. The problem with this is if I want to pause a movie or otherwise control it, I've got to get out of bed, walk across the room, and pause it. This is 2013, there's really no excuse for that. I should be able to control my computer from across the room with ease. I mean, this is old technology. So, I had an idea. I generally like to use VLC Media Player when I'm playing back movies. And with VLC, you can use your keyboard to control the movie. So for example, I can hit spacebar, and that's going to pause the video. If I hit it again, it'll play it again. That's fine, but what I'd really like to do is use a remote control like this. So I had a thought. What if I use an Arduino as a sort of translator? I could press the pause button on this remote, the Arduino senses that signal, and then pretends to be a keyboard hooked up to my computer and presses the space bar for me. I, you know, I could use that to pause the video, to play the video, to change the volume, to fast forward, rewind. I mean, I could make it do just about anything. So that's my project for this week. Let's get started. I started with this TV remote. The top playback buttons aren't used for anything yet, so I should be able to use these. Right now all I can really do with it is turn the screen off and on. I also needed an infrared receiver module. Here you can see the power, ground, and signal leads. And the heart of the project is a teensy Duino. You can't use an Arduino Uno for this because it can't emulate a USB keyboard. I'm using a teensy 2.0. I'll be tapping into the VCC pin, the ground pin, skipping the reset pin, and then the D4 pin. First we'll connect the parts together, making sure the leads go into the right holes. Then we'll bend the leads out to hold it in place while we're soldering. Here you can see the VCC pin, the ground pin, and the D4 pin. Next we'll just solder the three leads in place. And that's the hard part. Pretty simple actually. Now I'll plug in the Teensy so we can upload the code. First we'll load up the IR remote sketch. We use this to decode our remote signals and figure out what the codes look like. Make sure to pick the proper Teensy board, and the correct serial port. Also make sure that USB type is set to serial. Then upload the code. and we should be good to go. Then we can open the serial monitor, point the remote at the sensor, and press the buttons. You can see how the different buttons make different codes. Some remotes, like this one, use a repeat code. That means instead of playing the same code over and over when you hold down the button, it only plays the code once and then follows it with a repeat code. In this case, it's all Fs. We're going to ignore that part of the code. Now we want to load up the VLC remote sketch. We need to replace these codes here with the codes we got from the remote. And down here you can see the keys that will be pressed. These keys are determined from VLC. If you open up the preferences and click on hotkeys, you can see what the default hotkeys are. For example, here you can see that a short backwards jump is Alt and Left. So in the code, I press the Alt key and the Left key. Now to upload the code, make sure the TNC is selected. Then make sure the right serial port is selected. And then for USB type, select Keyboard, Mouse, and Joystick. This will allow the Teensy to emulate a USB keyboard. Then just upload the code. Now let's give it a test. 
we'll open up a notepad and start pressing buttons on the remote. We'll try a stop, and you can see it presses the S key. Play makes a space, so it seems to be working just fine. Now we'll open up VLC and try it again. You can see I can pause or unpause the video. I can fast forward. I can rewind. I can change the volume up and down. And finally I can stop the video. All from the comfort of my own bed. It's that easy. A little teensy duino, a little infrared sensor, now I've got myself a little infrared to keyboard translator unit. I can use this to control VLC or any other program on my computer that can take keyboard shortcuts. If you like these videos, don't forget to like or subscribe.